uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can show the images static or dynamic images inside browser using node.js and express and we will be using the handlebars template engine so the handlebars is also very popular as compared to the ejs template engine inside node.js and express ejs stands for uh, embedded javascript templates so we will try to look uh, how basically we can do this process so if you're watching it for the very first time guys then please hit that subscribe the channel as well so in this tutorial we will be looking at how basically we can show the images static and dynamic images inside our node.js application so you can see that we are displaying these uh, three images here facebook linkedin youtube all these icon Im images are stored inside the you can see this is stored inside this local directory icons and basically we are showing these images inside handlebars template handlebar if you don't know about handlebar guys so handlebar is a very if you just type here express handlebars this is the package we are using for this application so basically it's type of a view engine that is used inside uh, node.js and express applications you can see that weekly downloads is 239,431 so it's a very good uh, module basically if you want to build out applications so let's start building this application guys so if you're watching it for the very first So let's start building it. So the very first thing we will do guys here, uh, we will first of all install this uh, uh, module. So let me just uh, start from scratch. So I will go to the projects directory and basically I will make a new directory handlebar express and cd into this handlebar express and open this inside visual studio code text editor so you can see that this will make a new directory here so now just initialize npm init dash y so this will create a empty package.json file so now you need to initialize two dependencies express and express handlebars so so just install these two dependencies and right here So after it installs, just make index.js. So inside this, you will see this will install these two dependencies, express and express handlebars. So right here, guys, we need to make the public folder. And inside this, we need to make the images folder. All the images will be stored inside this folder, which we will be displaying it in the browser. So just make a directory of images and we need to store also make a new directory here of called as uh, icons so basically we will uh, simply transfer these uh, images if you see so these three images are there so we can simply cut these and paste it here so three images are there guys and uh, similarly we will be doing it for the images here so a single image is there so we will simply copy this paste it here so now we have three icons which is facebook you can see we will be displaying it in the browser using handlebars and we have the static image which is present so now the process is very simple guys first of all we need to make the express application so we need to require the express here and if you want the full source code guys that I am writing in this tutorial, you can read the blog post. I have uh, written step-by-step -step instruction on my blog post webninjadeveloper.com. So if you want to get all the source code, you can go to the description of this video and please hit that like button guys. I am seeing that five people watching the stream. You can see step-by-step -step instruction is given and all the source code is also given. So just go to the description of this live stream to get all the source code. And now we will be initializing new express app. We will be starting this express app on port 5000. And here we will simply say that uh, app is listening. 
on port 5000 so you can see that guys app is listening on port 4, 5000 let me just stop this previous app and close this for terminal and here guys first of all we need to import our uh, uh, express handlebar library which we have installed and from this library guys there is a method called as engine that we need to import and also after we do this we need to make this directory of public which you see on the left hand side this public directory we need to make it static inside express so this this is holding all the static assets so by default we need to set this directory we can do this using app dot use which is a middleware function and here we will use express dot static and here we can simply pass the path so simply public we will pass so now this directory will be static so by static it simply means that guys you can access the all the images that is stored inside this so if i now start this application so i say that node born index.js so it will start this application on port 4 5000 and if I say public images and profile.jpg, you will now see this image will be. Uh, if I say, sorry, you don't need to write public here. S simply, you will write slash images profile.jpg. You will be try. You will be able to access all the images which are stored inside public folder. And here you can simply say. You can see the icons are also. So by doing this pr property, guys, by making it static, this you can do this like this. After this, we need to set the engine as well, app.engine, and here we will be setting the handlebars. So handlebar extension is .hps, and after this, we need to set the engine. We will use make use of this engine method, and inside this method, guys, we need to provide some configuration options. First option it takes is the let me first option it takes extension name. Extension name is will be simply hps. And default layout I need don't need to provide default layout and the layout directory it will be stored inside the views folder so we need to create a views folder guys right here in the root directory so just create a views directory and here you will create all your views so first view will be for static static dot HPS so this is the extension guys you will see on handlebar this is the icon that you see right here and second file will be for dynamic images so dynamic dot HPS so these two templates we have constructed static and dynamic so now we simply need to write some html code here so right here after this you do this we just need to make a simple get request to the home route so when we open the home page we need to go to static slash static and request response and basically here we will be showing the template which will be called as static so here you can see we will be showing the static directory we don't need to write the extension name guys so you will just showing the static so now to show the static image guys it's very simple we will write the basic HTML here so we will show static image in uh, handlebar template so now to show this image guys we will simply say uh, static image we will give a h1 heading after this we will have simple image tag source is equal to images slash profile dot jpg so basically you can close the image tag and now if you go to your uh, route here which is slash static you will now see your image so it is saying that no default engine was specified i think we need to sp also specify the engine as well guys by using this uh, we will say app dot set view engine and we need to set the view engine explicitly by to hps so just write this line here at the very bottom here if you now go to it you will now see your static image here you can see that in the browser guys so in this way you can display any static image which is stored inside your express application using handlebars it's very simple and uh, you can even change this to let's suppose uh, icons as well and uh, i need to show the facebook icon so i will simply change the path here simply so now it will display the Facebook icon so it's a static image we are manually changing the path so it's called a static so now if I want to show dynamically let's suppose I pass some data to it and based upon the data I need to show images so how we can do that so 
for that we need to go to index.js and here we will be making a new route here which is called as another get route app.get this time this will go to the dynamic one dynamic and here we will make requ request response and here we will make an image list variable which will be an empty variable empty array variable so this will hold all the images that we will be uh, just pushing it to the template so these images can be coming from an api from a json response also guys this can be completely dynamic but here we will be manually passing the images we will use the push method here and here we will push push the source attribute we will initialize it to the icons facebook dot webp this is the address of the image and also you can pass some additional data as well name property facebook and similarly we will be doing it two more times image lit push and uh, this time source will be linkedin png and name will be linkedin again we will be doing the same thing image list push this will be for youtube.png and name will be youtube so you can simply see that we are simply passing this image list variable guys we are pushing three images inside this which is stored inside the icons folder facebook linkedin and youtube so these three images we are passing it to this uh, dynamic.hps template so right here we will now need to send this data so now to send this data we will say response.render and we will re-render this template which is dynamic dot dynamic we don't need to provide the extension and right here we need to pass the data so this in the second argument we will say image list will be equal to image list that we have defined here that's it so now guys we need to go to our dynamic.hps file here and now we need to display these images so how we can do this we can how to show this dynamic images in handlebar so how we can do this guys it's very simple we will use the each loop here which is there inside handlebar which makes it easy to display the images so here we will use this inside double curly brackets we will use the each block and then followed by the name of the variable that we have uh, received if you see we have received image list so that's why we are passing this and then we need to close this image each tag like this this is a syntax guys so we don't need to provide hash symbol here so this is you can see that in in between these we will display the images guys this simply serves as a basically a uh, loop here and we can simply manipulate the this of source attribute and also we can write the name of the image at the very top h1 and this dot uh, name that's it so as you can see that guys these properties are we have defined it which is if you go to it we have the image list this is basically an object array of objects so we have the first property source and the name so we can access those properties using the dot syntax so this dot name and this dot source and now if you go to your dynamic directory guys dynamic route so you can see dynamic images first will be facebook this is the icon linkedin uh, i think we have provided wrong path here if you check here this needs to be linkedin sorry this needs to be coming from the icons folder so that's it and now if you refresh it you will also see your linkedin image youtube image so if you just say open image is new tab this is the image that we are displaying dynamically so this time we haven't manually entered these images inside the template we are receiving it dynamically and displaying it using each block in as express handlebar so this is the simplest of example guys if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of this blog post and get all the source code and please hit that like button and subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video